Okay, so uh, I found this little app uh, that is available for Android. The app is not free, it's about four pounds, four pounds 20 uh, on the App Store and the Google App Store. And uh, But this allows you, once you set it up, to control the Tonex pedal via MIDI USB and um, change the parameters on and off. As you can see here, there are some of these boxes that I've set up and some sliders to control to control the level of certain parameters that you can decide. Obviously, the MIDI parameters are all uh, on the Tonex manual. So you can see, first and foremost, I've set up uh, through the A to B cable, and I'm connected to my phone now via USB A to C adapter, so USB-C adapter. These are things that obviously, the, the, the cable I think comes with a pedal, and uh, the adapter is they can buy really cheaply. I'm pretty sure most of you have one. And uh, all you can do once you have downloaded the app, uh, there's a little video that shows you how to set up, but I didn't really have to do any of that. I literally plugged in the cable and it started working. You can see if I disconnect it and I plug it in again, when I touch anything, it asks me to connect the device. I key multimeter tone X. And that's does that. Of course, disclaimer, I will not be held responsible if something happens to your devices. This, this is an experiment that I've done for myself. I thought I'd share it, and if you want to do it as well, uh, go for it, but I will not be held responsible for any damage to either the phone or the Tone X. It was really simple and really straightforward for me to set up, so um, I just wanted to share it. So these uh, you can see these boxes that I've set up, these pads. All you have to do, you can add a pad, and you click on that uh, pencil there to edit it. You can add the pencil, uh, sorry, you can click on that gear, and you can see that here on the toggle, you, that's what you want to do, you want to set up the toggle. You can change the name here on that on the pad. And then all you do here, just ignore those labels. You look up on the um, on the manual, the MIDI control number. Uh, let's say 18 would be the compressor on and off. There you go, that would be the compressor on and off. And I click on that, you can see the power cycles on and off. You wanted to put it on toggle. So they cycle between 0 and 127, 0 being off and 127 being on. I've set up quite a few, so you can see the gate on and off, reverb on and off, delay on and off, compressor on and off, emulation on and off. When I go into the slider section, again, same thing. You can add the slider, you can edit it, click on that gear next to it, and then put the control there. Uh, I'm not sure what 26 is, the treble, perfect. Um, and let's say that I want to delete this for now, for clarity. What I've set up so far is the mix of the modulation, the threshold of the compressor, and then the mix for the delay. Um, and I'm on modulation type. The one limitation that I've found so far is that, the, as an example for the modulation type, the um, each modulation type, the chorus, the tremolo, have a, have a specific number, MIDI number, for uh, the mix or for each parameter. So if you really wanted to set up um, the full app with every parameter, this would be a bit extreme, I, I would say. The way I would do it, I would probably uh, use the knobs to set up, you know, the, the game, bass, treble, mid, and so on, on the unit, because that's quite easy, or to pick the model. And the you know, certain parameters are quite easy to set up on the on the unit themselves. But where I have to menu dive, like you know, the rate of the tremolo, then I will probably set up a uh, you know a slide a MIDI slider on the phone. So um, one thing that I'm trying to see, I've got in touch with a developer. This seems like a, what, a very new app uh, to see if once I've set up this system, you know, the this, the workspace. That's how he calls it. I can share it online, so everybody that has a Tonex can download it and try this for themselves. I've not found yet uh, a simple way to set up. So maybe in the future I will set, uh, I will, if you check on the pinned comment in the description, if I find a way to set uh, uh, a share, a way to share the file or within the app, the workspace, um, I will let you know in that way. So keep checking back and see if, uh, or maybe I'll, I'll post an update at some point. But I found it was uh, just a quick experiment because a lot of people complain that the Tonex is not 
uh, you cannot edit it right on uh, on the pedal. So when you're live, it's, it's a, it can be a bit tricky to edit. So maybe a way to do it would be to have like a, a you know a, a Android. I'm sure there's an iPhone way of doing this, an app somewhere in the iPod Store, um, and just set it next to your pedal board and if there's something to to change within that you can probably do it within that uh, and then save save the the preset again this was a, a very quick video to um to experiment with this if you found something alternative just let me know i'm quite interested in uh, in this tone thing because i quite like the sounds but i find the pedal and and uh, the software not super immediate you know, obviously coming from line six where everything is laid out so uh, I think line six is probably the line six is the helix is one of the easiest to uh, modelers in terms of uh, controlling and editing even when you're playing live. Um, anyway, well that was that really. Uh, if you found this of value, please share it with some friends, share it online. I will probably post it on the Tonex Facebook page. And um, uh, yeah, that's it really. Uh, check out the description. Check out all my products on my website. And if you feel like making a donation, there are links uh, on a pinned comment and in the description. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.